Hi everyone, my name is Stephen Simon and welcome back to C Sharp Corner videos. Today's video is gonna be a little different but I think you're gonna like it. As in this video, we're gonna talk about some 5 to 6 features of C Sharp Corner that you're probably missing and maybe you would like to use it from now. So let's get into the video. So before we get started with the 5 features of C Sharp Corner that you would like to use, a quick update from C Sharp Corner this week is uh, we have our C Sharp Corner April MVP list announced. As you know, MVP stands for Most Valuable Professional, which is a program where we actually recognize the community contributors and award them uh, with this uh, MVP award, which eventually encourages them to contribute more and uh, stand out as a leader in the any community, it may be developers community or it may be the IT professionals. So uh, moving on to the first feature that we have is I was really stunned when I saw this feature on C Sharp Corner dot com. That is if you are a member of C Sharp Corner, which is purely free, it's a global community. They don't charge you anything. So if you make an account on C Sharp Corner dot com and if you are contributing and if you want to show your contribution to some other websites of like if you own your own personal websites or a blog or whatever it may be, there's something called Flare that C Sharp Corner provides that you can use it. Now Flare is actually a HTML snippet that has all your uh, name, your profile picture, your rank at C Sharp Corner dot com, a uh, number of times your article has been read and it has your reputation too. So to access Flare, you need to go to your uh, C Sharp Corner account, click at the top right uh, select my account then on the left you'll find a menu scroll down and click on fair flare now if you'll come here you'll find two options one is with the light mode and the other one is with the dark mode you simply need to copy this html snippet and paste it in your wordpress Wix, or whatever blogs that you're running or if there's any website or if there is any conference that is happening and you want your content to be over there so this can work also since you can see it is a anchor tag which means it is going to act as a link which means if you place this content on any of your personal blog or website and if the viewer clicks on it it will take them to your c sharp corner profile which is literally amazing and when i talk about the dark mode to use dark mode they have given um, hint on how you can use it you need to place at theme is equal to dark after your image url and there you go so that was the thing i think that is the feature i recently uh checked on c sharp corner i think it was there for a really long time and many people are not using it so i suggest you to use that maybe you will love it all right so moving on to the second feature that we have is uh, a like button not a like on article or liking your comments, but it's a member profile like. If you visit any of the C Sharp Corner profile, at the top you will find rank, read, reputation, member, and then you will find likes. Like is a way to uh, let the author or the contributor know that, hey, I like your content, what you're sharing, and it is a way to appreciate the author. But what does it make any difference? First, it encourages the author that, okay, I'm getting many likes on my profile. It means uh, people are liking my content. But here, the fact is when you go and like anyone's profile on C Sharp Corner, even you get one point. So I think it's a brownie that is shared by both the contributor and uh, the one who is reading it. So if you go and like my profile, which has only 20 likes, I think I need to contribute a lot. So if you go and like my profile, I'll get like a, my profile like count will increase and you are going to get one point for the same but that is something interesting so maybe i can leave a link in the description and you can like my content i'm just kidding uh, whatever con community uh, contributor you feel like you can just go and uh, like his content all right so the third feature that we have is your actually setting up your default home page for c sharp corner in most of the case, if you visit C Sharp Corner, it is going to take you to the home page. And if you're logged in and if you remember, you have an option to actually add whether you want to go to C Sharp Corner home page or you want to go to your My Account settings 
or you want to go to your profile the way you can achieve this is to go to your profile at the top left hover over your username and then click on settings when you click on settings uh, you'll fa you'll uh, land on a uh, your social links and your account settings page in the account setting the last drop down that you get as an option is set my default home page which is currently set to my account in my case you can change it to either c shop corner home or you can change it to my profile so next time if you set it to my profile and save it over here you get an option that whenever you visit csharpcorner.com it is going to redirect you to your profile in that case you can come to know your uh, articles or what is your rank what is your reputation or if you want to just go to some stats and see the articles that you have written and all that then maybe you can select the my account and save the settings i like to keep it c sharp corner home because that acts as a news feed for me so that i can read other articles i can come to know what are latest events happening so in my case my preferred choice is always c sharp corner home page let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts for the same so the fifth feature that we have for today is the next recommended article Many times when you read any of the article and you reach at the bottom, uh, you might find like, okay, this is good article. I like it, but I want to read more. So if you might have noticed, there's an option at the last, there's a link which gives you the recommended article that you were just reading. For example, if you are reading a uh, machine learning that is about batch and online machine learning, if you go down, you will find a link that says that, hey, since you are reading an article on machine learning, maybe next article you would like to learn is recommendation engine with Azure machine learning. If you're learning about the Angular routes, the recommended article may be, okay, fine. Now you might read Angular controllers. So that is something, uh, you should take an advantage it is available on every article it may be videos blogs so this recommended one is something that i really use on my day-to-day -day basis and i think uh, you're gonna like it and it actually saves your time and uh, you know when you start reading one article and there's one that follows up so it's kind of builds your story and uh, you know it builds your interest so maybe uh, you should start using this feature as soon as possible The fifth feature that we have for today, which is the second last feature, we have one more uh, extra feature or a bonus or a brownie feature that is feature number six. We'll talk after this. That is uh, using your company's profile and mentioning your company's profile on C Sharp Corner page. I mean, uh, if you go to your profile, click on uh, view profile. No, I think uh, if you click on edit profile, you get three options. The first one is general information. The second one is certification and the third one is company profile. So if you are working in any company, it may be uh, HCL, maybe Microsoft, maybe Google, Facebook, whatever company you're working, you can actually mention your company name, their details, uh, what company it is about and their addresses, even their images employee account contact person website url facebook page and a lot of stuff so when you do this this gets displayed on your c sharp corner profile page which actually looks really good and i see some of the people using it and it, believe me it really adds the value because uh, since we are a developer we often work uh, nine to five and we're working for companies so if you want anyone to know that hey i work in this company and uh, you would like to mention over there so you can use this feature that falls under your edit profile section now when i talk about the last and the bonus point that we have is something that i discovered very recently i'll take you to the events then chapters now if you attend any of the events there's an option to register there right you can register it over there you need to enter your contact number your email id if you are logged in you need not enter any details you just need to click on submit and that's done but what i was actually facing problem is to sync those uh, events that i'm attending to my calendars now this c sharp corner provides a really handy way to do that just where you see an option to register yourself there's a link that says remind me so if you click on that remind me link it will take you to the your google calendars page where you can actually add the entire details it actually comes 
everything on its own it's everything written the time is written the events date is written the events name the events description everything is written over there you just need to click on save and start using it and before the event starts you get a notification on your phone from your calendar prior 30 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes whatever you set and uh, so that you don't miss the event that you registered now that is a feature that i'm going to use always whenever i register for any of the events and i think uh, this is a pretty handy which uh, you know then you don't miss any event you get a notification that hey the event is starting in 10 15 minutes so you just tune up so those are some five to six features that uh, I found uh, very recently on C Sharp Corner that I was not using it or actually not many people were using it. If you have any features that you know and would like to know, make sure, the sure that people reaches out and they use it, let us know in the comment section below and uh, maybe it was 6 points, uh, you can take us to 10 or 12 points. So that was all from my side in this video. Thank you so much for watching till here. Stay safe. Uh, stay at home it's covid 19 i know everyone is working doing work from home so my name is stephen simon once again and see you in the next c sharp corner video